Hey, welcome back for another episode. Today we are going to look at used headsets. Yes, you can always look at the brand new, the latest, greatest stuff on the market, but I'm actually comparing uh, the A20, the Bose X, and the Zulu 2 today. The idea behind it is because I'd like to pass off my Bose X over to the uh, passenger side because I really haven't got a good headset uh, for the passengers that fly with me. And uh, either I'll pick up a second uh, Bose X or if the A20 works out or Zulu 2, I will do that. Uh, at a later date, I'm hoping to get my hands on a Zulu 3, so if there's anybody around who's got one and wants to lend me one for a flight, I'd love to do a comparison uh, against, say, the A20 to see which one is better for me. Uh, stick around to the end of this video where we do a price comparison uh, for the three headsets that I'm going to be looking at today uh, on the used market. So thanks for watching, and let's get to it. Traffic in the Sundry area, this is Acrosport Zulu Romeo Victor, overhead to uh, 5 miles east of uh, Sundry, 5,000 uh, tracking eastbound for Olds Disbury, Zulu Romeo Victor. Disbury, car shares area traffic, this is 172, Gulf Kings, Dual Alpha, is 5 to the west of Disbury, over top of the power line, 5,000 feet, headed southbound for Supermain. So for those of you who pay attention, you may have noticed that... Uh, I'm now flying with uh, Bose A20. Um, these are not mine, They're, uh, I borrowed them from someone the other day because I took someone flying and uh, didn't have a spare headset and I said, oh, A20, uh, I'll try these on. So, um, I have been thinking about buying a pair. I, of course, no normally fly with the Bose X or A10, if you will, uh, and it's great. I've flown with it um, for many, many years. Unfortunately, what happened when I bought them is I was at Oshkosh and uh, what ended up happening is, is I walked over to the Bose dealer and I said, well, you're not going to be swapping these out anytime soon, right? Like upgrading. He said, oh, no, no, we'd advise, uh, uh, let people know way, way, way in advance. And so uh, I went and uh, picked them up. Uh, Canadian, they were about 1300 bucks. So... Um, I bought a pair, and I think it was a whole month and a half after I bought them, they released the A20s. So that was, uh, I think, about 10 years ago. So my fear right now is that Bose is naming this uh, their headsets every 10 years. I'm guessing. I really don't know. But the Bose X, and 10 years later came out the A20. I, and since it's around 10 years that the A20 has come out, I'm thinking the A30 is going to be released soon. I'm trying to hang on and wait uh, to see what the A30 has. Uh, I wasn't going to, but um, the difference between the A10 and A20 is incredible. I mean, the A, uh, the A uh, Bose X, or the A10s, as I'll call them here, uh, is... Um, a pretty sweet headset. It's nice and quiet. I've worn it in a whole bunch of different planes. Always great. For some reason, I feel like they're not as effective as they used to be, say, five, six, seven, eight years ago. I don't know if it's all in my mind, but I've been wanting to upgrade. And since I don't have a, a good headset for my passenger, I was thinking about um, you know, replacing and getting the A20 for myself and letting the passenger wear the Bose X. Um, so consider this the first part of me testing out uh, the Bose X. So, um, I will also be flying with Claude. Claude has a Zulu 2, and I kind of always wanted to test it out, but I haven't. So, we're going to go up for a flight, and we're going to swap headsets around and um, see how that works, because he's thinking about getting the A20 as well. He wants to test it out in the air, and uh, we're going to see. Old Stidsbury traffic, Bird Dog Fox, Tango Golf Fox is pulling out for the intersection takeoff, runway 10, Old Stidsbury. Let's do that, intersection takeoff. You think you, you doing that? You think what? You think you can, uh... Me? Yeah. Sure, if you get off right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling me fat again? That Bert, look, look, he's already off the ground. Already off the ground. Yeah. Ground roll of about 
400 feet, if that. 300. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, this, uh, your headset, the, your, uh, minimize my headroom. Really? Yeah. Like quite a bit, then. This, is traffic. this won't be the same. Delta, just, uh, I don't know. Final, Try it. The... One zero. It's coming full stop. Boom. This traffic, Gulf Six Delta, it's just gonna I pressed the talk, uh, doesn't problem. work. I heard you. Off the runway one zero. Go. This is for traffic, Echo, Juliet off, uh, downwind runway one zero, full stop. Oh. You're good. Old Zulu traffic, uh, line zero, Zulu zero, Zulu backtracking. One zero for immediate departure. Oh, okay. You were good. I could hear you. Oh, all right. Okay. I think it's a you problem. I think it's a different headset that just doesn't give me the same feedback. Yeah, this one's slightly different, too. All six for traffic. Commander Gulf Mike Romeo Charlie is seven miles to the southwest, 4800, planning overhead to join the left downwind for 1 0. Ready? Yep. Old says very traffic. Zulu Sierra Zulu is uh, rolling on runway 10. Old says very. How does that sound compared to yours? Uh, yours is better or worse? You don't hear more noise on that one? Because that's the reason I want to change the A10 to the A20. Oh, uh, so not that I hear more noise. It's just it just sounds different. I I can't describe it. The one thing that it's quite obvious is it's a whole lot tighter on. On my ears, on, on, on my, my head. Is that good or bad? No, that's bad. Okay, so you feel too much pressure on your head? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I find this one is less pressure, because that's what Bose Old did. Sisbury, Travis, Mitch, Delph, Michael, Mayo, Charlie, right. overhead, Old Sisbury, uh, joining the left downwind, 1-0. They changed, they changed from, um, from the top pressure, where it's always clamped, yeah. to when this one is off your head, it's actually, there's a gap in between. Right. So they said they reduced the pressure. Yeah, I, that's that's actually the first time I wear the old Bose. Yeah. And and that's why I didn't buy a Bose back then because you didn't like I, it. I knew it was going to do that. And uh, I I must have tried one way back. Didn't like it, and I always stayed away from Bose. And this this clamshell is just it's just too high too high off. My, at the top of my head, and I keep banging on. I, and I is it is it is it is it sitting on your skull? Like I mean, is it down? Oh yeah, I know. Oh, it's, okay. it's on my skull for sure. Charlie is on left downwind. One zero, Old Sidbury. Here, try this one on now. You don't have the noise canceling on. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, it wasn't turned on. No, it wasn't. Oh. It wasn't turned on. Oh. You also have the volumes down instead of up. Oh. That's why you couldn't hear the radio. <laughs> Fucking Bose bullshit. Okay. No, this this one's better. My my headset's all automatic. I put it on my head. I start talking or. Or key the radio, it just turns itself on, and I don't need to push any buttons. And uh, when I'm done with it, I just I just put it down. It, it shuts itself off, and I, I get a I get a full season with a set of batteries. No way. The boss says that you get about 40 to 45 hours. I think it is a battery on these things. So you're definitely well. I mean, if, I guess if you're flying, you know, 30, 40 hours. Uh, a, a summer, then that's fine. How is it on the clamping on that one? Uh, it's better than yours. It is? And then uh, the height, I, I still 
I don't know, still feel that mine is not not as high on top here. I got more room. Well, it's because yours is like a thin metal thing that goes across, yeah. whereas this has an actual actuator for the spring in yeah, the middle. Yeah. So we're not loving this. So, but I mean, again, for myself, I have to say I've flown with the, with the A20 two, three times. Right. And now that I put this one on, my A10, the A Bose X back on, I feel that um, uh, it feels comfortable again. Like, I don't know if it's because I've been flying with it for 10 years. The only thing is, is with, the, with this headset, the problem is, is because the way it clamps automatically and it clamps hard, yeah. you have to change the ear pieces. Like, I've changed them twice already over the last 10 years. Oh. Because it, it squishes it. It squeezes the, the foam. Yeah. And if it sits in the plane for a while, it's almost like in a squeeze position. So you have to put, a, like, a block or something to keep them off of each other. When it's in arrested. Right. Well, this is for traffic. Come back to you, Charlie Fox Cross. Romeo. Oscar Romeo is back right on way 10 for flight northeast. Over the years, the that noise cancelling part goes away. Well Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, totally possible. That would be the the, the module and, and whatnot, because it, it sounds uh it sounds tinny, it sounds oh, like funny. metallic. Oh, that's interesting because this one sounds metallic to me. Oh, this one is much worse than that. Okay, so definitely those A10, no. <laughs> okay. No for me. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to dis Here, you have control? Right. I'm going to disconnect that one, plug in yours, and then I'll wear yours. We'll put this one back on. Are you there? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, this, this one doesn't have that tin sound. Tin can sound that uh, the, eight, uh, the other one does. So, so here is my my Zulu 2 review. I don't like it. Right. It's as noisy as my Bose 10 for me. Is it? Yeah, that one's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, uh, other than other than the clamp, well, with this this clamp one's is better. not as bad. But, uh, as the other one? Uh, Alright, let me, let me try mine back on there. One, two, one, two. You there? Yeah. <laughs> We're a little chill. Sure. Yeah, we're, uh, hold on, it's a throw some sauce on that spaghetti. How is it now? Uh, I, I, I think, I think I like the 820 better than the Zulu, and, and I don't like the 810 whatsoever. Yeah, I think the 810 is off my love list. Yeah. And, uh, definitely the 820. But if I can, if I can play with this microphone a little, then that'd be good. Because, you know, the they said the difference between these two, the Zulu, well, the Zulu 3, because now I, I want to test the Zulu 3. That one's comfortable, though. And, and I, I, got, I got more uh, more room. Uh, or more, see, I'm not banging my head on the canopy. Yeah. Right. But you're, on your plane, on your Lancer, you'll be lower. Yeah. Here, Julia Golf, currently at 8,500 on the VFR route to Banff. Uh, yeah, I came from David Clark to get into the, the Zulu 2. So, this, this was uh, light years ahead of, of the, uh, the David Clark. Oh, no, I think if that was my first headset, I'd be really ecstatic about it. I like it. I find the pressure on the Zulu 2 less uh, restrictive on the head. This, a, the A20 is less restrictive than the Bose X or A10. Yeah, if I, uh, I'd, I'd like to try a Zulu 3 Five and compare it to the A, A20. That, if I was to change, if I was to buy another one these days, I, I would consider Bose now. All right, let's summarize it all. So the Bose A20 comes in two flavors. It comes with or without Bluetooth. The Bluetooth model allows you to connect to devices like your phone. 
The brand new Bluetooth version will set you back about $1,449 Canadian. And you could expect to pay about $1,329 for the non-Bluetooth version. But what we want is used. So I've looked around and was able to find used and almost new models of the A20 for anywhere between $900 and $1,000 for the non-Bluetooth model. And about $1,000 to $1,200 for the Bluetooth models. Make sure you check whether the unit is refurbished if that sort of thing matters to you. The Bosex used could be had for anywhere between $500 to $700. Given that companies taking a trade-in on the Bosex will only give you anywhere between $75 and $150, bucks, I'm guessing that trying to negotiate for a lower price couldn't hurt. Be advised that if you decide to go with the Bosex, you may want to buy an extra ear seals kit, which would set you back another $50. I've had to change the seals twice on my Bose X in the last 10 years, which really isn't too bad. However, each time I bought a replacement kit, I was told they were about to get discontinued, so maybe pick up an extra set. The Zulu 2 seems to fetch a higher price on the used market. I found some anywhere between $600 and $900, which in my opinion is slightly overpriced given that it's close to the price of a new Zulu 3 headset. The buyback on the Zulu 2 is also higher than the Bose X. The trade-in value will be anywhere between $250 and $450. I'm guessing this is because the Zulu 2s are a more recent headset compared to the Bose X. So, which one do you want to buy? It's all a preference, of course. However, here's what Claude and I believe. We both like the A20, and that is the last thing we agreed on. Second place for Claude was his Zulu, where my second place was my Bose X. It's interesting that Claude didn't like the clamping on the Bose X, where that's exactly what I like about the Bose X. Claude found the Bose X to also be less than perfect when it came to sound, where I hated the sound of the Zulu because I felt it had less sound protection than the Bose. I'm just wondering if our second place was nominated simply on the fact that we were both using our headsets for many years already. Either way, Zulu 2 will definitely not be in my passenger seat. Unless, of course, it's free. So that's it. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.